All right. So we're back here on Couch Coach Live. Yeah, back here. Sean Love is in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. what's going on? Hey, we have Friday night under the lights here at the den here at Lexi in that radio, Lexi in that radio.com, where independence is key to building your legacy. Hey, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? I'm Sean, man. Another week. Another week. Another man. week. Another week. This is, uh, I know. In the den, man, another another Friday, another Friday here, man. The, the start of the, the, I call it the greatest month of the of the years. I call it Sports October. So I'm going to wait for the biases to come. You tell me why this is your, uh, the, the greatest month for you. Well, today, this is great, because today we have a, a, a smorgasbord of sports topics covering the landscape of the sports landscape. We have college football that we're talking about tonight. We'll be talking about Major League Baseball playoffs. Okay. Um, we'll also be talking a little NBA. So, you know, this is always going to be the, the best month of the year because you have everything going on. You have the beginning of the basketball season, the ending of the baseball season, okay. the middle of the football season, mm -hmm. and the middle of the college football season. Oh, okay. So sports-wise. Okay, I thought... Yeah, oh, it's a sports total. I was thinking you were talking about something else, so I got you. Oh well, yeah, I mean that too, but that we'll have that day in three weeks from today. We'll put it that way. Okay. It's, it's going to be a party. I just I just don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be a party that day. <laughs> you know, I, I got you. you know, and that's and that's what we do, man. So man, we um yeah, let's get into it, man. So of course, yeah yeah yeah. So of course, we had our Thursday night football last night. Uh, we had the. Patriots defeating the Buccaneers by a final score of 19 to 14. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, it was a very boring game, but uh, but definitely I want to shout out to Tony Romo once again. He's he's delivering the goods, man. Um, he's he's doing his thing with, with with CBS, man. I don't care what nobody say. People, I mean, I've been getting a lot of flack and be like, hey man, he, he's a Cowboys he, quarterback. He, you know, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I forgot that was him speaking last night, yeah, man. and he was on. From a quarterback standpoint, like, you know what it reminded me of? Mm -hmm. I don't want to show my age, but you remember Sports Talk? The, um, the, it was a Sega Genesis game way back when. It was one of the first football games for yeah. Sega Genesis. It was mm -hmm. called Sports Talk. And, like, he gave you, he gave me an idea of what the Winston was going to do in the last try. Yeah. And how mm -hmm. to do, you know what I mean? Or, like, every little thing, like, it was a perfect throw this way, Peter Weir throw. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that's a, this is his calling. To yeah, yeah, to I, me. yeah. I, I like it. I like what he's doing, and in, 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 in a sense, he's very interesting. I mean, he's a very, very entertaining, like you said, and I like how he he pretty much tells you. And this, the thing with him, I want to see dummies it down, but it's more so of he breaks it down to a point where everybody can understand it. Yeah, yeah. Like he was like, I you think, know, yeah. Once they down the ball, um, he would say they want to get this done before. Uh, yeah. Before they uh, the two minute warning, and then he was like, they they you know he said he got time. He said because once he um, drops the ball, he has three seconds. And he was on point, man. Then even the field goal of kicker announcer, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, he yeah he did that, and that was that was very interesting. To it say was interesting least. too, like you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but um, <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was I watched it, man. It was um, it was it was, it was fairly entertaining, and, yeah. and even though and to be real with you. It's, it wasn't like the Rams versus the 49ers that we had two weeks ago, where it was a high scoring affair. But it was a very nice defensive battle. Um, and of course, you had, you know, I want to say the change of the guard, but more so you had a guy like a Tom Brady versus James Winston, where we see the old guard versus what they call new guard. And even, mm -hmm. they, even James Winston did struggle in the game. But, you know, of course, we've always, even going into, we knew that he was, you know, he still had his, his issues as far as turning the football over. And of course, um, it bit him in the and bit him, you know, bit him in the butt mm -hmm. in this in this um game where they threw that interception late, and of course it preserved the Patriots win. Mm -hmm. um, Nick Folk, um, the uh, probably the most hated the most hated kicker in Tampa Bay, um, of course, um, you know, you know, like like the old folks say, bless his heart, uh, he missed three critical field goals. So and you see a million. I mean, a field goal kicker. I mean, I mean, to you would think he would be. Okay. My biggest thing with it is I know a lot of people blaming him on a loss. Yeah, because you you when you think about it theoretically, 
that is nine points that you have t- took off the, you know, you've taken off the field. Oh, what? what? Cause I, what are you about to say? No, no, ahead, don't ahead. do this, don't no, do this, no, y'all. Ahead. You and China make me feel like I'm sympathetic to him. I, I'm just being real. Okay. There's a lot of other things that happen in the Tampa Bay game, especially when we look at the turnovers. And Jameis Winston not getting them in the end zone. Mm. I'm I'm just saying, the field goal kicker, yeah. When you, as I said, we gotta break it down. Even don't you know? You blame him, but there's other things that that transpire. Because That's even right. if even if he would have connected on two or three, they still would have won that football game. Because it's been 20 to 19. They would have won at least by one point, but. It's a cool. job. No, okay. Yeah. It, there, there's, this, this game, yeah. there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. Past, future, present, all that yeah. stuff. But, bottom line is, mm-hmm. if you watch Hard Knocks, they've had issues even last year. Yes. With <laughs> yes. There's no excuse. <laughs> Man, he, that's what he's. That's what he's getting paid to do. Like, that's true. Man, that's that's true. no excuse, man. There's the, the weather, was the weather bad? Actually, no. Actually, it rained earlier, but the field really, was, yes. really wasn't oh, bad. Yes. No, no, what I'm just saying, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm, trust me, I'm not giving you an excuse. You just, you just asked me the weather forecast. Yeah, I got you. But, it, you know, it won't bad. It, oh, was, it was good. I but mean, it, yeah. I can see one, and then, then they figure out a way to get him mentally right. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Which is, all those people on a, on a, uh, a football team, Somebody should be getting paid to be motivational. You know yeah. what I mean? Or something. James. James is their leader. I mean, he's their leader. We're going to get to him. J- James is a leader. I'm not a believer. Trust me. Let me tell you something. I don't know. James. I'm not a believer with him. I th- I, I, I'm not a believer. Man. Yeah, but James, he got that talk. And like I was telling Sean, That's the I, issue. He got that talk. He got that talk. I like, I mean, like. Yeah, he seems like a very cool guy. But yeah. he mean, he's not. Come on, man. Like we I watch yeah. Hard Knocks State. Oh, man, we wish you had you. I had you. And blah, blah, blah. Come on, man. I'm sitting there like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. trying to win the game. Where is Deshaun Jackson? Like, I'm like, they, I know he Deshaun. Missed him. He missed him on one of the routes. He missed him a few times. You know what I'm saying, dude? The, the, the crucial. They were, he was basically, he was passing to the, basically, like Humphreys and these guys. They were. Yeah. yeah. And then some of them, they were, they, I'm like, why'd you even throw that to them? Right. <laughs> I just think I'm starting to feel like he's overrated. Like I said. Sometimes the grass is not always green on the other side. I believe. Oh, please. Don't you even go there. I'm going to go there. You but know you know what? You're right. There. No, you're right. I'm right. You're right. But you know what? It, it might be some other things going But look, it might be some other things going on in D.C. where he had to go. Where, you know, they still haven't signed Cousins yet. Yeah. You know, for real. They haven't. And he, he, may, you're right. he, like, and he understand. He, he may be feeling like, you know what? They ain't taking him serious. And they, I don't even think it's him. I think they, they was going to sign him, but I think that he's like, man, it's, it's, is Cousins going to be here or is he not going to be here? Right, and that's the biggest issue going forward. Like, you don't know what the future of it. And you're right. And I do, I think Jameis is a very, he's one of those type of, he is a, I would, I would say it this way, and this is in, in football vernacular. He's like, he has that type of, that certain charm, a certain genesis qua about himself. Full of it. To an extent, like, like I'm saying, but I, I watch Hard like, Knocks. Yeah, I watch Hard Knocks, and the whole time I'm watching him, I'm like, "Oh, he's selling an illusion." Okay. Well, okay. I mean, I think he has the tools to be yeah. great, but I'm sitting here like, "Oh, he is selling an illusion." I think what it is, it's just he's just too young to be a leader of the team. Yeah, That's been my thing. Hard. Like I was, like I was telling Big E a couple of weeks ago, I was like, "Well." I like him. I think going forward, he's going to be fine. It's just he has to get a little bit of NFL. He got to, he got to look. He got to have a little bit more skin in the game. Because I like what he did with Florida State. Because if you looked at the days of the Florida State, and I tell you, that speech that he had with them when they were losing the Ole Miss last year, I was like, dude, this man, this man made me want to go and get some crab legs. That's great. You know, who, you know who, who's a, who's the person on their team should be leader? Because I watched the Hard Knocks again. Yeah. With that. McCoy? Yeah, Jeremy McCoy, yeah. He is a beast because he was so upset. I forgot what happened. Something yeah. happened. I don't know, it was a fumble. Something happened where they had to get back on the field. You could see the frustration. No, yeah. no, he missed the field goal. That's what happened. You oh, could okay. see the frustration on his face. Yeah. And then he was tired. And then 
Next thing you know, like we went to hard knock, they said, we don't know how he do it, but regardless, he know how to get through that line. Yeah. And that's what he was doing, man. I was I seen his face, he shook his head, and then he stopped the ball. Well, somebody stopped the ball, and then he got back in line, and they tried to hike real quick. Yeah. And we just talking about the Bucks. Come on, the Bucks. We just talking about the Bucks. It's a bunch of stuff they need to, they not catching the ball. It's just like watching hard knocks. Yeah, like, it is. Y'all not taking yep. it seriously? Take it serious. And this is professional. And especially with that, uh, with that opponent, Pretty much, essentially, the Super Bowl. Well, yeah, the Super Bowl champions. Yeah, like I'm saying, you're not. You, every, yeah, that's why yeah. I said. I said every time they play, play, you should not look at them like, oh, it's the Giant and Patriots. You supposed right. to look at them like, man, we about to kill this time. Yeah, on this Thursday night, we got a uh, sweet color right mm-hmm. units. Let's do We're this. We play the, the, the Super Bowl they champions. They haven't played them since 2000. Um, 2013. Well, Brady is like the first time he's played them in a long. And that, and that I, think, I think that's the first. I think. I think he's four. Yeah, he he hasn't played him in like eight years. That's what I'm saying. But I think the, yeah, he was around. And eight, you know, he, he was, was there. Yeah. You Ooh. know what's sad yeah, was, yeah, was about that game? Yeah. Is that they were supposed to win? Right. That was the game they could have won. They could have won that game. They could have. And not even like by really just playing football. By playing football. Make the field go. Nick Falk. Shout out to guy Robert uh, Maguire, the, the former Florida State um, kicker. And actually, you know, they have, I'm telling you, for some odd reason, Tampa Bay is cursed. If it isn't Martin Gramatica, it's a Maguire kid, and then Nick Falk. Like, whoever's going to be next as far as that field goal kicker, I would not put him on a fantasy football team if I was you. So, you know, no offense. No offense. Let's, let's talk about the Patriots. The Patriots, they look human. I mean, this is going to sound very bizarre, but even in these in these five games they played, even though they're three and two, they look very think human. Brady gonna make it through the season, bro. Huh? You're right because he was the pressure was on him. They got to him really, real heavy, and that's one thing too. He think he can defy Father Time, bro. Father Time is undefeated, and even the pages. It's time. It's time. They look bad, man. They look, they look really yeah, bad. Yeah, they look human. And, and you there know. were still some good throws. There were still some good passes. And they receivers that we don't know still did what they're supposed to do. But yeah. if, if, if there was another team that had the football mind, like the Patriots, mm-hmm. they, would, they would cream them. Pretty much. They would cream them. And I don't think there's no team that has the football minded, and that's sad. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they would cream them. It was bad. They lost that game last night. Tampa Bay beat they sell. Pretty much. And that's what happens when you have a young team versus a veteran team like the Patriots. The Patriots found ways to win in the most bizarre ways. So, you know, definitely. And then they were talking about how they defense did so well. No, that was just Winston. That was just Winston. That was just Winston. Stinking up the joint. And. My thing with him, like I was telling Big E, once he cleaned that up, I think he's going to be fine. I'm, I'm not going to write him off. A lot of people have been writing him off today and saying, oh, he's just a mediocre, mediocre quarterback. But I'm like, dude, this is his third year in the yeah. league. It reminds me of a running left witch. Like, uh, I don't know. A, a, a rich man's Myron left witch. <laughs> More so than a poor man. Version of it, but I mean, he has an opportunity. I think he has a tool, but with time will tell. And then you know, and the road doesn't get any tougher. I mean, get the last easy. play. Yeah. Did that make any sense? Did it you? did not make any sense whatsoever. I don't know. I just know one thing: in Lovey Smith was there. This wouldn't have happened. All that stuff. <laughs> it, just, it was just some things. I was just like, yeah. you know, and I did things like Deshaun Jackson was out. I'm like, oh man, yep. and he won. You know. Clutch, Mr. Clutch himself, Big time. as usual. Big time. That make no sense, man. Yep. But um, yeah. But bottom line is, um, every team that played the Patriots, rush. And then uh, no, I'm no offense. The other thing that I don't yeah. understand is, I'm trying to figure out. He, you know, Tom Kane runs. I don't understand why you don't really yeah. put him in the middle or like blitz through the middle on him. I don't understand I don't that sometimes either. because. All he's gonna do is if you come through the middle hard, he's gonna have to go to the side. Yeah, absolutely. He's not that guy. I never understood that, but you know, it was just me. Yeah, it's fair. It, it, it was very interesting and kind of telling. So, of course, they did a, a, a very nice, swift transition. 
Um, and of course, we uh, we talked about the um, the NFC South and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we talked about their talented quarterback that is James Winston. We got to transition now to another talented quarterback in the NFC South. It is Cameron Newton. Now, of course, um, this happened on Wednesday, so of course, um, Charlotte Observer beat writer um, Jordan Jordan Rodriguez. Rodriguez, stop. Oh, see, there you go. All right, then. See, you laugh, see, you laughing. I'm laughing. If we laughing, we're going to lose our Dennis Spawn show because of you. I didn't laugh at you. I was laughing. Everybody, so everybody know I got to read so this. Sensitive. Look, Since look. You came Kansas City. I'm from, look. Look. Anyway. I was going for the Redskins. I know. I know. It's all good. <laughs> well, like I said, <laughs> Jordan Rodriguez was a Charlotte Observer a Charlotte Observer on uh, beat writer. Now she questioned um, pretty much about Devin Punches, who was the um, Panthers wide receiver, pretty much um, his physicality during routes. So of course Cam Newton said that it's funny to hear a female talking about routes. This is prior to answering to her question. So of course there was a lot of fallout and of course um, in the wake of that happening that Dan and pulled their sponsorship of um, Cam Newton, they pulled the commercials as well as the endorsement deal from Cam Newton. So, um, Sean Lover, what's your, what was your thoughts about it? Okay, it took me a minute. You know, I see stuff during the week, and I be like, man, what, what, what? But you know, first thing I saw was he said something about you know Colin Kaepernick. He said, um, what did he say that he was? Um, that he deserved to play. Um, but he called him. A, a, didn't he say he's um, inspiring or something? Yeah, like that? he was. Yeah, it was. You know what he's doing is courageous. And courageous. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We heard that. Mm -hmm. You know, I probably shouldn't say it because people say don't have anything to do with that. Well, no. But then I heard. I heard. I heard what happened, and I had so many different things. But the people who seemed like they were close to it um, said it was disrespectful. And first off, once he said the first thing, I think yeah. someone should have told him, "Be careful." The way you answer everything, the way you do, because it, it can be, some people could try to find a way to get you back, or yeah. things could just, you know, karma. Things could just be looking certain way. Now, personally, I watched all the comments of everybody that we know and people we don't know. I even seen some posts on Facebook and heard everybody's different um, perspectives yeah. of it. And then I heard it. And I thought it was flirting. Okay. Myself, when, I, when, I, when he did it, I didn't think he was, like, trying to be I don't know him. Yeah. I don't even follow him. You know, and for him to even think of trying to be that way towards somebody, I've seen how he dressed. I've seen certain things that I've been in white. You know what I mean? Just look different to me, but I don't judge him. You feel me? True. So, me personally, I felt like he was. Um, <laughs> it's funny to hear. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, 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 yeah, like, yeah. I thought like he was flirting. I thought he was flirting a little bit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Did he answer a question? Um, yeah, he did answer Okay, question. so I felt like I've heard, you know, root like other guy, athletes, when a female yeah, say something, no say doubt. something really rude to a right. woman, you know what I mean? Seriously, like, some of them are MVPs, Yeah. some of them are legends, you know what I mean? That was what they said way more than that, but I took it as he was kind of flirting a little bit. Um, and that's how, I, and I've heard that too. Um, and my thing is this. And like I and I posted this on on my Facebook page, and it was one of those things where I said, "Hey, you know, sometimes in life that you have to get a pan of situations before they yeah, get before bigger, they, yeah. before they before they get bigger than, than something that you can't handle." Um, my thing is this, and I'm I'm really to be like people really were surprised about the Dan and him losing the Dan sponsorship, which I don't to be honest with you, I'm really not surprised. Because when, when you when you think about Dannon as a brand, Dannon in essence is pretty much it caters to women, and him ha being under that Oko's tree was in essence them breaking out of that mold and were trying to do something different. And considering him the face of the franchise, for him to be pretty much to fill this void in in this market where men like myself, I wouldn't say it's taboo to eat yogurt. But of course, that you know, men you don't really see a lot of men have eating yogurt. It's something that's really more so catered to to to, to, to females. Because when we look at Danny, because Danny knew a lot of 
especially when you look at the like certain women advocacy advocacy groups that 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 it yeah. funds those those yeah. endeavors. So Ocos is pretty much what's supposed to be the man version of it because it almost made it like it was manly to eat, to in, in, in essence. Yeah. Because that's something that I like, and I was a very uh, uh, um, of the peanut butter, uh, uh, the peanut butter and the banana vernacular. I I really enjoyed that. You know what I'm saying? This is, you know, the, you. most before I got woke. I got you, man. Not woke, but I mean more so uh, <laughs> before I got more more health conscious. I put it that way. Yeah, I got you. But uh, but um, but to and, and of course when I you know said there was a lot of pushback and there was a lot of people and I you know of course people a lot of people saying well it's really not that big of a deal and I definitely want to give you some you know one of my boys I'm um, actually uh, one of my guys um, Shane Davis he's actually he's, um, he has a podcast called the Fantasy News Hour and he said this was this was a perfect example and when he put it and it was almost like he it's like it was perfect. It's almost like he said, he, and he said it's in that quote, and this, you know, I wrote it verbatim. So it's almost like somebody saying it's funny to hear a black guy talking about defenses. And now when you think about it, and I looked at it from a standpoint that from there, there are a consensus of people, and that's, this has been heard from GMs around, around the NFL and just anonymous names, people who are nameless, have said that a lot of black quarterbacks don't know how to read defenses. This is the perfect example of it because what if if this is like say if Cam Newton was talking about uh, something that happened, he said, for instance, you know, you did a great job when we say when Devin came across the middle and you knew that Darius Slade wasn't coming because he was covering he was covering um, you know covering um, um, Calvin Benjamin or something like that or something like you seen the safety come over the top like. You know, if he said something like that, like, you know, one of the reasons why I did this route because I knew Funches was going to be open on the side because I knew Darius Slade was going to come from the other side and he was going to, he, he was, he was going to back up and he was doing more bump and run coverage. He wasn't going to play. And, and I knew I left Funches open. And just imagine a reporter saying, oh, it's funny hearing a black guy talking about defenses. Yeah, I got you. He just, right now, just everybody just needs to be professional. Right, and that's my thing, and that's my that's that's what I try to tell people, especially when you're in that type of predicament. It is a workspace. This isn't like us sitting around talking and shooting the breeze. Mm-hmm. You're at a workplace, and you yeah. can't say these type of things. And I try to tell people that, and it's and everybody. And I understand like people say it's it's not a big deal, but for him, that's a big deal when you are already kind of, you know, especially if, like you said, if it's him. Yeah. Because we've talked about this even in pre-production, like Cam Newton, this isn't his first rodeo as far as controversy mm-hmm. and certain things. So when you have those things happening, you you have to walk around on eggshells. You gotta be humble because he beat the Patriots last week and they were saying he looked like the old Cam and he felt himself. He, yep, you know, that's he what got he comfortable. He can't he, he can he can never get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Now he got cute. That's to me, damn. Yeah. Now when you have a sponsorship, to me, it's like a partnership. He said what he said. Now, I'm like, why couldn't somebody say something to him and let, and let him apologize? Right. Because it could just it could have been just a misunderstanding. Now, maybe behind the I don't know, but maybe behind the time scenes, he said, he, did, he, did he apologize? Well, he did apologize. He did a, um, like a video apology. But... This is the thing that I thought it was very weird, which I don't understand why she, in a sense, bought this up. Because she did later on tweet said that she did have a, a conversation with him, and it didn't and it didn't go well. But she didn't want to be she didn't want to deal out the de- details because of the fact the workplace. But I'm like, why would she even kind of, in essence, put that out there? Because what you're doing when you say something up there, even though, even though even though right or wrong. You're putting something out there as if like there's more to it than yeah. than we do, which that adds to to it. Where well, that's why I said with if he would have nipped it in the bud yeah. right then and there, uh-huh. that wouldn't have even happened. And the only thing I hate about what's going on in this situation is people bringing up her old tweets of how that's why I was about to which go you, which yeah. is mutually exclusive. Yeah, because you can have and I'm just, and this now. Follow me now. This is not a not my personal in, in endorsement per se, but it's 
So this is what people will see on the surface, which I, I think they are, is a too mutually exclusive. On one end, people might view Cam Newton as a misogynist. Mm -hmm. And the other end for, for um, Rodriguez is, hey, she's a racist because she said something so, else. That's what I'm saying. Saying. On the surface, that's where so, and you know, those two things, that's like two wrongs don't. Don't. Right. But both of those, they all see that whole thing, they all work in the same place. To be honest, right. they, they need each other. Right. It's, it's almost, very important. It, it, so yeah. something like that happens. Mm -hmm. What you need to do, you need to go and have a closed-in conversation. Right. And however it is, let it be for what it is. Right. So when she get interviewed, because a lot of people said she took the victim role and she fed into it. Like she, she fed into it and made it go even worse. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it should have been a conversation, this, this, and that, sorry, blah, blah, blah. And he could have said that, you know, he could have said, I talked to her, this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. And then it could have been just going out of a portion yeah. because what have happened is, you know, they got, people got to stop playing that role. I'm and, telling yeah. you. And this you is, get yeah. comfortable, people going to start digging and digging, and that's what everybody's that's doing what right now. Right. They're really what, digging and digging and digging to try to find stuff on you. And my biggest thing, I think, that really, I don't want to say it upsets me, but it's like, okay, he's made the apology. Let's move on. But a lot of people, and and I'm going to put her out there, Christine Leahy, quote unquote, she was saying, well, I think he needed more time to, to apology, to have an apology. Like, it's, it's you know, it's way too soon, soon to have an apology. Like, he should be yeah. talking to other people. And I'm like, that's not, that's, 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 not true. that's total BS because, especially in the, in the way that we, in the world that we live in now, he probably knew he was dead wrong once he got home that day. So it was like, my thing is, like, because we, and I, can, and I can attest to this too. Now, there's a lot of stuff I've said in Couch Coach Live, previous shows I've been on, and that I know for a fact. He was wrong? Hell yeah! I mean, what the hell? Well, you was wrong for what you said about LeBron, man. I knew no, it. we ain't talking about no LeBron. Didn't talk about no damn LeBron James. <laughs> Oh, I Everything I say about LeBron James is spot on, and I'm no, dead right. No, it's not. Even Glory think I'm right. Don't you don't? Don't yeah. say that before she pop up in here. That's all we need. We need to yeah. we get the ratings at the same time. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but no, it's a lot of stuff that I, 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 I've said in the past. It's, it's regrettable. And I think even, and my thing is, even subconsciously in your mind, you know, oh, damn, I done messed up. Yeah. Theoretically, we all get that right. And it don't take two days, three days, four. It can take you a millisecond no, to think about it. That's one thing. I, no, and he, he and no. to me, I and I give him credit. He moved on, and he and I even in that apology, it was genuine. And then of course they wanted to pick apart and talk about well, he bought a daddy sponsorship because he understand he probably know that's a source of income that he's lost because of that. Of course, that's my thing. People don't understand. All he has to do is win. He starts. He'll get back. Like he's like, right. But we all, just like everything, just like San Francisco, even though he's a multi-millionaire, just hey, I'm just going to throw some out there. Maybe he was getting like maybe a hundred something thousand uh, or maybe close to a million dollar deal. Yeah, definitely. But that's money. That's just like hell. Yeah. It's like, a, like for me. Hell, if you take a hundred dollars out of my pocket, I'm going to be hurt. It's, it's different for them though, man. Now, I wouldn't say all that. No, it is. The man, look. I mean. Endorsements come. I, I believe the endorsements come yeah. and go. And once that endorsement was gone, they, they, they'll find another one. Yeah, you know? no, but I'm saying in the moment. Yeah, it just it still, looks, right. it still looks a certain way for yeah. something like a Danon to say, right. I'm, you know, I'm dropping you. That's you true. Know? But that's my thing. That's my thing initially because he, he just lost it. You, when you think about when you lose something like that, like you said, it's like a perfect example, follow me. The $100 thing. We all know that you can get, we can all get $100 back. Yeah. But in, in, in theory now, like, damn, I didn't love $100. Yeah, I got you. Right, I got it's, you. It's, it's, he, it's like that. And he, he it still makes his character look a certain way. Oh, he just, will. You know, yeah, but, he you will. know, he needs to win. He needs to focus on but, not being like Winston and <laughs> but, you know, and win some win some games and just be the Patriots. Take that motivation and keep, but, keep yeah. going forward. But I definitely want to thank Cam Newton for introducing me to that um, peanut butter pe peanut butter and, um, and banana yogurt, man. That's, that was on the point. <laughs> Well, that was like, it was a zero gram sugar. That don't look good. <laughs> man, that, man, don't tell me, man. That, right that, now, you saying don't eat no more. Man, I'm not doing that no more. Because, I mean, I already know, you know, I don't, I can't, I'm trying to lean lean away from dairy. Yeah, Boy, I, I tell you, when I was, when I was on dairy, it's ooh. just, it's just, 
anything like this. Because yeah. the, that, that, he was a superstar. And he yeah. just got that it factor. Yeah. And it was like they was looking for him. That's why they were upset when he didn't talk after the Super Bowl. Right. Because he had that it factor. And, they wanted and that he didn't give him nothing because he was hurt. Because he know he didn't, you know, whatever. Right. And then this happened. And it was like, ooh, we got something. Right. You know and that's I mean? why, that's why, like we said, and there, especially in pre-production, we talked about this too. It was like, right. There are certain things that he know. He got he to stay away. And he, he has, has to have a, he's supposed to have people around him also. You know tell him, because of you that. messing up, Cam. Be you careful. You, you, be you careful. said this. You made right. a choice to say this. Right. You know what I mean? So just be knowing that they're looking for, for something. You know what I mean? Anything. 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 Just ask Ray Lewis. <laughs> Look, I'm going to leave that man alone. That man was praying to God, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, you should yeah. have seen him on Undisputed. He looked lost. <laughs> he looked lost. Matter of yeah. fact, Definitely, I definitely want a few shots to my sister Kim. What's going on, Kim? Love you too. What's up, Kim? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. What's up, Kim? Um, um yeah, so Kim wanna talk about well, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Ray, leave Ray alone. Ray 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 was praying to God, man. Y'all better leave Ray alone. No, 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 no. Yeah. Ray was trying to uh be make it really about him. Yeah. No. See that's what I'm saying. It's it's one thing <laughs> to be a part of something, but Ray wanted to make it about yeah. Him. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So, man, did you see the Yankees? Oh, um, yeah. Oh, um, wow. Um, the Yankees are up 8-3 to three in the bottom of the sixth inning. So, very interesting. Um, so, what's going to happen if Cleveland lose the series, man? Nothing. It's the Cleveland Indians. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. So, my thing is, is LeBron then? Probably so. <laughs> so, is he, is he just showing his face? <laughs> tell, 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 tell the man to leave her, her blacks in the huh? house. Hey, man, look. Leave, leave, tell, leave, leave tell, the white tell, out of them. Well, leave I'm leave the white out of it, okay? No, she the one that put it out there. That was so I'm funny. saying, man, she from the act right now. Man, we, we freak black, black and miles, too, where we actually twist it and we pour it into the... But that was so funny. That was so funny. That was hey, so funny. That's the way you post smoke black and miles. He was like, nah, don't do that, don't do that. That was so funny. She hood. But, um, yeah, she's hood, but it's all good, though. She understand when she cook bologna and then plop up how to... <laughs> <laughs> See, that's accurate, man. That's that Cleveland mess, man. I can't... See, that can't, that can't deal with this Cleveland mess. See, he's saying that now. But we... Northeast Ohio has some of the beautifulest women you've ever seen in your life. Um, I'm not surprised. Like, you see, I mean, you... You you show us a beautiful. It's, it's serious. Interesting. Yeah, seriously, and that's the honest guy truth. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and also, um, the Astros and the uh, Red Sox, which was, was very weird, that last night that the Astros won eight to two, uh-huh. and they won again today eight to two, um, and they have now a two zero lead. Now, I think what's interesting in this one, that it's, it's the most weirdest of those two games. They're the contrast of how they won, even mm-hmm. though the, the scores are similar. Uh-huh. But you look at like Jose Altuve, he went off last night. He had mm-hmm. three home runs last night. I think he was the th- first player thing to to actually have three home runs in the in the playoff series since like nineteen oh three. Oh wow! So I mean, it was something huge. And then this time, which is the weirdest thing, the best came alive with them. Like I think it was in the sixth inning, and um, Carlos Correa and uh, George Springer um, had. Um, Drove in some RBIs um, for the Astros. Now I thought it was very interesting, and that's why I got um, Justin Verlander. Definitely shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Um, he 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 did a fantastic job last night. The pride of Goochland, aka Mannequin Savage. What? <laughs> Y'all be rapping around here, man. I, this this is what we do, man. I got you. This is the same person, man. Baloney in Northeast Ohio. Come on, man. You know we gotta do that. We we always talk about home, man. I got you. I'm not happy. It's all good, man. Google it. Man, it's happy, man. That's, we all we got. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so, um, also, um, we actually we're underway in um, in Washington. The Nats are uh, be playing the, the Chicago Cup defending World Series champion. They play, right? Yeah, which is the weirdest thing to say that the defending national, uh, defending, defending world champion, world series champion is the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's a long story about that because 
we knew, me and my man Kenji knew they were going to win because we ended up watching on MLB channel like every week was Brewster's Millie. And he was, wearing, he was wearing the Chicago Cup. We kept saying, and then Kenji said, man, watch. The Cubs going to win this year. Watch, watch. watch. Yeah. And they did. But um, Was you mad? Huh? Was you mad because the Emmy is low? No, no. Because, um, I, I mean, I was a little disappointed, but man, yeah. you know, honestly, no. I mean, no. <laughs> Shout out to Kenji. He said, say word. <laughs> Bruce is million, huh? <laughs> that, that, um, yeah. No, I was happy to see him there. And it just, I think it was more or less, sometimes it would have been cool if they won, but they might not. Sometimes, like, when you look at KD, it's, some people say they feel like he won too soon. It wasn't his time. Yeah. Yet. And he's like, dealing with the pressure. It's a lot like Ric Flair used to say all the time. Yeah. You got to be the man. You, you got to deal with it. Can't be the man. And, um, so not really. I was just happy to see him there. I was happy for the city because you know Cleveland was was kind of bad. It was getting kind of kind of bad there. But shout out to um, my um, the manager from um, my store. She a big Cubs fan, and she got tickets to the game um, to see uh, to see the uh, the Cubs. She's a Cubs fan, so and a Bears fan. Right. So she been throwing that in my face. Yeah, man. And um, you know she was really bragging yesterday about going. So shout out to. Um, Cindy, Cindy Walker. Cindy Walker. Cindy Walker. Cindy Walker. Player. Hey, man. But, um, yeah, yeah. man. And also, we got the um, Arizona Diamond Pags and the uh, LA Dodgers. Shout out to our guy, Magic Johnson. And we playing at 1030. <laughs> what? Why are we doing this? Because he's, <laughs> you know, he's a majority of the other Dodgers. Yeah, man. Get money. Get money. Get you know, money. And, and, you know, and, you know, definitely. I'm trying to get the king out there in the LA. Yeah, he would get him. I hope he do. Yeah, man. So you be a Lakers fan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. It's not a, that's a that's the whole thing. It's about the young man from Akron. You understand? From Akron. Akron. Not Cleveland. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah, there is a difference. There is a difference. And trust me, he said that in, in um after the decision. Because I'm going to tell you. Oh, we when know. he was in high school. Yeah, they let him know, like all the hatred. Oh yeah, they hated yeah. him because he said that. He said yeah, that. He, he was, was like, like, yeah, dogging, dogging him. him. He couldn't even go out to eat. They would just dog him. But yeah. once they knew they could get him, they was like, oh. <laughs> and you know, and that's a shout out to everybody in Cleveland. Who, I'm, I can guarantee you, the number one Google search back in 2014 was how to unburn my LeBron James jersey. On that note, we would, okay. And there's only certain people who burnt those jerseys because. It was, I'm a, a, I have a lot of Pittsburgh Steelers um, groups on Facebook, yeah. and there was only certain people burning Roethlisberger's jersey. Like, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> you know what I'm like saying? Like, why are you, why are you burning your jersey? I'll be more inclined to tell any you are to. Take it a good way, though. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I why? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not burning so, my jersey, you know, bro. Wow, you know, this is a great first segment where you're talking about um, but, but banana and peanut butter yogurt, and now we're talking about jersey burning. So, hey man, <laughs> you know, when you got, when you got two, two extremes, you know you have a hell of a show. So what we're going to do, we take yeah. a brief time off. We come back, we'll do our four downs. We'll talk a little college football. We'll talk about if Bob Stoop should come back coaching if LSU or Tennessee comes around. And also, we'll give you our upset special of the week. And also, we'll do our picks and um, some other um, stories of note. So, we'll be right back. This is Couch Coach Live. Bruce's million. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. 